Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I have a great rack. I've got Dahlia and Dialer. Hopefully something will go after my opponent has played. I've also got Rallied. Okay, my opponent may have scuppered my chances. Voln only takes an S after it and nothing in front. So let me just consider whether any of my seven-letter bingos do play. So Dialer, no. Dahlia, no. Rallied, no. Okay, so I need to consider the floaters. Okay, I've got rivaled, which is good. What about the U? Can't see anything there, although there could be. The L, three Ls, unlikely, and the N. Okay, I'm going with rivaled. For 66. Pretty awful rack. Voln can be extended to Volnerate for future reference, should I be so lucky. I nearly had those tiles on my first rack. Now, I don't, I'm not going to be bingoing this time. My main goal will be to sort the rack out. And that's going to be tricky, but I suspect there is a better move than changing. Great, only 21 for my opponent. That could have been a lot worse with the vowel next to the premium square. So, do I have overdue? Great, I have overdue in row F, which scores almost nothing, but certainly sorts the rack out. Is there something better? I could play Vrow, but that keeps three E's. One E too many. Overdue, not particularly dangerous. Famous last words. Yeah, I'm going with this. Overdue for 15. Great, I draw the first blank and I've got the Z. I've got a balance rack. I've got woman eyes through an I or an A. No... None of those available right now. But I should be able to score well with the Z, even if I can't bingo. Well, my opponent provides nothing. So I've got women as a suffix with Z blank. That's not very promising. I'm just looking to see if I've got a play in column 8, which gets the Z tripled. Can't see such a play which retains the blank. It may be worth burning the blank because that's going to score the equivalent of a bingo. It would be nice to play off the W as well. So I could play Towsed using the blank as a T. 81 points. That is a lot. Can I score anything remotely similar to that or around the 50 to 60 mark and retaining the the blank? Don't think so. Am I missing a bingo? So the O is a possibility. What about the V? Can't see anything there. And the L, can't see anything. So I'm going with Towsed for 84. Not a good pickup. E's don't go well with the Q. Much better to see U's, I's and A's in that order. Opponent challenges, he loses five points. I've got a hundred point lead. So, two U's played, neither of them available. What about the I's? Nothing available. 
Now there is an eye available. I could just stick my Q above the eye for 11 points. It gets rid of the Q. It provides an easy scoring spot for whoever's got an eye. So I either do that or I score well with the H and the M. So how well can I score? Just, well, I notice I've got Vame, V-E-H-M-E, -E, doesn't quite reach the double. It's not a bad rack leave after playing QI. Am I sure I can't play the Q somewhere else? Yes, I am. I've got the end for making chin. That doesn't help. Am I missing something better? Just looking at the V and the O. I need to leave this I available if I play the H and the M. I'm playing Chi. Dump the Q. Okay, another high scoring tile, so I don't have a bingo here, I don't think. Wow! Nice bingo by my opponent, 77 points. He's only 30 odd points behind me now. I've got an H for going after S. So I could play Hemp. That would be quite nice. Getting rid of all the high scoring tiles. Scoring well. Taking out a hot spot. Decent rack leave. But was there a bingo through an O, or is there a bingo through an O? It feels close. Hemper on anagram. So phone with M-E-R, rem phone. Nope. Okay, I don't think there is. Hemp scores 38. I could extend that to hemp N for an extra... Nine points. Well, the EN probably adds about six or seven points to this R, which means there's very little between them. And when there's little between moves, I prefer the ones with the better rack leave. And the ENR goes quite well, goes quite well with the floating T's and O's on this board. Great. I have erasion and raisonne through an N. So I haven't seen anything which goes yet. Does erasion have... I've got no tears. Ah, well, it didn't go anyway. 33 for my opponent. I've got... Oh, wow, wow, wow. Look at this. Aversion. 94. Fantastic. That's going to be the best move unless... Well, is there a play in column 12 facing the I next to the Q. So what did I have? Erasion plus an R. No, I'm going with this. Aversion, 94. And that's pretty good. It's not a bingo, but I've got a great scoring tile in the X and I've got some pretty good vowels to go with it. And both Fax and Fox are good, as is Dog Fox. So surely they'll be something pretty good on this board. What I don't have is an eye for making chi. Four of those out there. Whoever gets that will score a, a tidy score for one turn. I've got a 120 point lead, which is a lot better than, than after digests when my lead was just my lead was just 30 odd points. So at the moment I great only 30 that could have been a lot worse. So it's I'm on turn. I've got the X. I could play Oxo parallel to Towsed. 27 points. I was looking for a lot more than that. 
I've got Oxo parallel to a version. 35 points, that's looking better. Do I have a five letter X play beginning with O? No, I don't. Am I missing an O spot, an X spot rather? What about row H onto the R? Can't see anything there. Oh, ah, Oxo doesn't play here, XO not good. So I don't have a decent candidate play, the column nine play. I don't like, I don't like retaining the F and the G and given that Fax, Fox and Gox are all good, surely I can do better. So I can do Gox. That's placing an X next to a premium square, not ideal. I must be missing something here. No D for dog fox. There must be something, something that's good, surely. This board looks, looks quite, quite open. I don't have to play the X if I could get 30 or 40 points with the with the F. I could just play Ox X and go. 37 points, that's pretty good actually. It spits up the duplicate O, keeps a decent vowel consonant balance, doesn't provide anything for my opponent, and although I don't like the F and G together, with the A and the O still on my rack, I will have options next go. Well, not great, but the double def isn't isn't too much of a problem. It's one of the better tiles to have doubled. I don't have an E, still five E's to come. To an R, I would have a Graffito. No R's available. Not many floaters available. Just the top of top of towels. I'm not sure if Yucca can be spelled with two C's. I'm going to ch check it. Yep, it's fine. So, my lead is now 100 points, 20 tiles in the bag. And I'm on turn. I've got 10 minutes left. My opponent's opened up a triple word square. There's already one open on in row H. Can't see a way of utilising the one at the bottom of the board. Or indeed at the top, but since there are two, I don't have to take either of them. This turn. It would be nice to sort the rack out. Although it's tricky to see what would constitute a decent rack leave. I could play Goff in row, in row B, killing the floaters, scoring OK, but retaining three vowels and a consonant. Let me check the vowel situation. Nine, nine vowels out of 27 tiles. Wow. And some of those are E's. That changes things. I could play Goff. 19 points. Roro not particularly dangerous because my opponent has covered the, the premium square. This doesn't feel optimal. Bingo lanes, columns 14 and 13, and 11. Yeah, so all of the action after Goff is going to be in the bottom right of the board. But I can start messing with that next turn. Goff takes care of the top left, apart from, say, a bingo ending AT or ATE, but the latter wouldn't get tripled, so that's not too dangerous. 19 points, am I missing a much bigger play somewhere? And certainly, if I did have the tiles for take for utilising one of the triple word squares in column one, I would be providing at least two floaters for my opponent, which is a good reason for not doing it. Maybe there's something in column four. Well, I'm going with this. Great, I have a balanced rack, I have drawn an E. 
So I haven't been punished for retaining all of the vowels. And I've got two scoring tiles in the B and the K. So I've got Baker in row H. And that's not bad because the B isn't a dangerous floater. The A is, but a play in column two. My opponent's gone now. I can stop talking about that. I don't have a bingo on my rack, and I don't have a bingo through a D or an I. I'm just wondering about playing across here. I could play Kybe just to kill. Well, not totally kill, because a bingo could begin with D. But it's taking out D and, D and I as floaters in the middle of a word. 25 points is OK, and the rack leave is OK. Pretty good. I've got a 130 point lead, only 10 tiles left. They are pretty bingo-y. I can certainly survive one bingo. The J is also out there, and the J is capable of a bingo -y score without being part of the bingo. So I'm not home and dry yet. My opponent's challenged Kai. He loses five points. 16 minutes on his clock, seven on mine. My opponent's been playing pretty fast. I thought I'd been playing fast, and I probably have. But because my opponent's also been fast, I've used a lot of my time. I have. Wow. Do I have Matlot? Yes, I think I do. At not good, so that doesn't play. Does it play now? Nope. Okay, that's a shame. Matlot takes an E at the end. No E's available. Seven tiles in the bag. Six minutes on my clock. My opponent's killed a couple of bingo lanes, which is good. Just the one hooking Vuln available in the bottom right of the board and beginning with D in the left of the board. But I'm 100 points ahead, so if I can score 20-odd points, that'll be pretty good. I could, I could play Mottle. But I'm not going to, because that would place an E next to a premium square where my opponent could place his J. Ohm is good. I've got an O. So do I have a six-letter play or a five-letter play beginning with O? Six minutes on my clock. It doesn't have to get doubled. It could begin in with an A in front of SH. Can't see a play beginning with A. So let me see what this scores. Tome, 25, and a pretty decent rack leave. Gosh, I thought I had Lamenta for a minute. I don't. Or indeed, Tome enter, if the L had been an N. So Tome 25, not good, not, sorry, not, uh, not great, and probably not best, but certainly good enough. I draw the J, that's good. Oh, maybe I was a bit fast to play off vowels, given, well, I think the, the vowel shortage wasn't as bad as I thought it was. However, I probably should have given more consideration to the vowel situation. My opponent probably has got a bingo now, but he's just going to draw three tiles from the bag. And it won't be enough, provided I can play my J somewhere, and I surely can. Because, where can I play it? Well, I've got a jar and Job, so I can play it there, and I... I've got Targe and 10, so I'm not going to be stuck with the J. Era only takes an S, so no J play in column 10 for me. What about row O? Getting tripled. Jarter is good, that doesn't work. Fourteen minutes on my opponent's clock, five on mine. Tome, well, it takes an S at the end. I don't think it takes anything else. 
certainly nothing I've got. Okay, 18 points for my opponent. I can see what he's got. He may have a bingo beginning with D. He may have swipers in column 11. So, column 1 would score more. But I can't see such a play. He will have a W or a P on his rack. I can see plays beginning with S. He could have... What did I see? He, he could have something if he didn't have the W. There's got to be a play. I'm sure I saw one. Spiner's not good. Snipers. Yeah, he could have snipers. Therefore, four minutes on my clock. It makes sense for me to play here to take that out. Targe. I don't really mind if my opponent uses the J for score. If I'm saving a bingo. I do want to play the J this turn in case he bingos to reduce count back. Three minutes on my clock. I could play Raj in the same spot. And I'm just now thinking ahead if my opponent doesn't bingo, can I go out? So with Taj I've got something through the A I think. Telar. Telar. Yeah, so I think this is better than Raj. And I can't see anything else in this spot which uses the J. Oh, well, that was foolish of me looking for, for outs because there was still one tile in the bag and it was the dangerous one. So I have stopped snipers. However, there's, there is actually another bingo lane row O because Abos is good. So and my opponents can have play in sp something like Inspires. Though he hasn't quite got the tiles for that. Does he have something beginning with D? He's got 13 minutes to find it. So if my opponent doesn't bingo, I've got Jew. I'm, I'm not going to go out with these tiles, but the game is won, I think. 16 points on count back. Yeah. My opponent is not going to score 130 in column 1. My opponent probably does have a bingo. Possibly ending AT, possibly including NS. Drip nets, not good. It's dip nets. That's coming off. Fantastic. Love it when your opponent phonies. So good. So... Anything better than Jew. Jew isn't great because it leaves me with LRT. Do I have a play starting at 01? Well, I've got Weta. Keeping LR. And I'm not sure I can go out with LR either. However, it does stop my opponent finding a bingo beginning with D. Two minutes on my clock. Is there a a better play? Preferably one which uses one more tile. Well, I could play Trawl. Keeping just the E. For not many points. Does this guarantee me an out, though? NE and DE, yes, it does. I'm going with this. And it kills the D bingo lane and also the bingo lane through the end. So I like this. I'm pretty suspicious of this rack. It looks incredibly bingo-y. So one minute on my clock. Where's the best E spot? Not sure I've seen any yet. Ash, not good. D, 
DE3, C3. Eaton, 8. JE, not good. Okay, so it's Eaton for 8. But I need to wait and see what my opponent plays in case he provides some provides somewhere better. 11 minutes on his clock, 1 minute on mine. Eaton still available, nothing new by my opponent. So just wait for my opponent to formally end the game, which he does. And the final score, 312 to my opponent, 460 to me, a winning margin of 148 points. So a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. It was my opponent to go first. Horrible rack. He plays Vuln. I have rivaled. No other bingos. Nice rack for my opponent. Three bingos there. He doesn't spot any of them. My rack. I play over Jew. Oeuvre. Slightly better. Two points better and a better rack leave in a similar spot. But over Jew is fine. Nothing massively better. Opponent's rack, no bingo. He plays Abo. My rack, Towsed for 84. Wansed, possibly better. Always difficult to know if two, if two consonants is better than a consonant and a vowel. Certainly when you're talking about a high sc a scoring tile, they like vowels. So I suspect MO is slightly better than MN. And certainly the W at A8, less dangerous than the T. So I play Towsed, my opponent's rack, he's got Triadis beginning with the T, which illustrates the, the relative danger of the T rather than the W. He plays Ed, wow, he misses a ton of bingos there. And I'm in a tricky spot, I played Chi for 11, I thought there might have been a 30 odd, 30 point play with the H and the M, there wasn't, so I think Chi is fine. Great. Bingo by my opponent, digests, brings, brings him right back into the game, just 30-odd points behind. I don't have a great rack. Hempen for 47, and I went for hemp for 9 fewer points, which is quite a lot, but the rack leave is better. I don't know if ENR is 9 points better than R, but it's going to be close. My opponent's got Uguia. Not sure if that goes anywhere. It does in column 14. Yep, 86 points. He plays Gordy for 33. And I have a version for 94. And there was there were other bingos, but none remotely as good. The second best, 30 points worse. So this that would be an example of a case where a suboptimal bingo is a really expensive miss. Opponent's rack, no bingo. He plays Tyro. Right. C15. Okay, so that's the play I did make for Ox. I didn't feel it was the best, but it was pretty good. And there was an H1 play, Taxor, keeping Fog. But I prefer Ox. It doesn't provide floaters, and my opponent needs a bingo to catch up. My opponent plays Yucca, which is a nice play. It elicited a challenge, and it got rid of a heap of junk. Offer O1. Yeah, pretty good, and I think I would have played that decent rack lead, decent score, and very undangerous floaters in the O and the F. So that was a miss. What did I do? I played golf, which had had its merits, but offer better. Opponent's rack. No bingo here, or no playable bingo. He's got Nandine. He plays Diner. O1, Kiart. Well, that leaves these dangerous floaters. G1, a toke. Wow, I think that would have been a pl the play, especially given the vowel shortage. Did my play even make the hit? Yep. Kai, make the cut rather. Kai for 25. Okay, actually all of these plays are pretty much of a muchness. Now, opponent's rack, no bingo. He plays Hon or Hun. My rack. What do I do? I play down the bottom right. 
G13. Okay, so Atom for 31. Quite nice, although burning vowels. However, I also burnt vowels. Yeah, Atom, probably a better play. Now, opponent's rack, and he does have bingos beginning with the D. Detainer and, well, you can see them. He's also got bingos in row A, ending something T something for fairly low scores. And he's got to play through the end. So all of the available bingo lines, lanes on the board, apart from column 11, he's got a bingo. And he phonies. No, he doesn't. He plays way. Okay, he plays way. My rack. Raja. Oh, one. Okay. What do I do? Okay, that's because I'm killing column 11, killing the sniper's play, which I think my opponent probably would have found. It's much harder to find an 8 than a 7, so I still like Taj. Although I think my choice of play would partly depend on on how good I thought my opponent was, which I would have a pretty good idea of if it was a face-to-face -face game. Over the internet, it's not. Opponent has Disponer. Wow, he does have a bingo. He phonies. Now, well, I thought about Jew, but that would have left Disponer available. I played Troll to kill that and kill the another bingo lane, just in case. And now my opponent doesn't have a bingo. He plays Jin. And finally, Eaton for 8 is the highest scoring play. So, a pretty exciting game. I did establish a good lead, but that is exciting in itself. And there was there were some nice words played and a decent score and spread. So I hope you enjoyed watching that and I will see you next time.